After Star Wars, Episode 9 ends the Skywalker saga forever. It looks like the next set of Star Wars films will be set even longer ago in a galaxy far, far away. Welcome everyone to another video. On the dork side, today we are talking about some pretty big speculation involving Luke Skywalker and the next set of Star Wars movies coming after Episode 9. On Tuesday, rumors surfaced that, as many have long suspected, the future Hush Hush Star Wars trilogy helmed by Game of Thrones showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Wise will probably be set during the Old Republic era of Star Wars. For longtime fans of Star Wars comics, novels, and video games, this basically means medieval style Star Wars with a decidedly Game of Thrones vibe. Assuming David Benioff and D.B. Wise are doing Old Republic Star Wars movies, what does that mean? And more urgently, how will that connect to Episode 9? Well, here's a quick primer on the Old Republic era, plus three ways Episode 9 could set up these potential throwback Star Wars movies. So, for First question, what is the Old Republic? Well, in the Star Wars timeline, the Old Republic era could be construed as anything that happens before Anakin becomes Darth Vader and the Emperor turns the Republic into the Empire in Episode 3. But generally speaking, the prequels are the rise of the Empire era. So when I say Old Republic, I mean old. The earliest stories of the Old Republic were the Tales of the Jedi comics. These were published by Dark Horse Comics between 1993 and 1998. The stories happened 4,000 years before for the original trilogy, but there are Old Republic stories that go as far back as 40,000 years before the core saga films. Most of the Star Wars titles marketed as Knights of the Old Republic, from comic books to a popular video game series, all happen around 3000 BBY or before the Battle of Yavin in the original Star Wars film. In most of the Old Republic, lightsabers and space travel exist, but the aesthetic is decidedly more Game of Thrones, more armor, castles, and capes. So how could Episode 9 connect? to a series of films that take place thousands of years earlier. The quickest way would probably be through Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren. In The Force Awakens, it's heavily implied that the Knights of Ren are a super old order of dark side badasses, which likely predate the Sith. In Star Wars Rebels, Ezra Bridger once found an ancient lightsaber that was the exact same crossguard style saber Kylo Ren uses. The point is, Kylo and the Knights of Ren seem to have aesthetic choices that harken back to an era way before Darth Vader. It's not crazy to think some of the new lore about the Knights of Ren dropped into Episode 9 could set up their origin story thousands of years prior in the next trilogy. There are a lot of great Jedi in the Old Republic stories, and the idea that their spirits might still be hanging around in the Force seems reasonable. What if Luke Skywalker's ghost was to meet Jedi ghosts of the very distant past? While ambitious, this isn't as crazy as it sounds. A deleted scene from the Clone Wars would have canonized the ancient Old Republic Sith Lord named Darth Raven. Raven would have appeared as a force vision to Anakin, which makes a lot of sense. Plus, at the end of the Clone Wars, Yoda faced the ghost of Darth Bane, voiced by Mark Hamill, a Sith Lord who lived about 2,000 years before the prequels. So who could Luke talk to? Well, Nomi Sunrider was the first Old Republic Jedi ever introduced in the first issue of Tales of the Jedi, so it would be awesome if Luke met her ghost. The other easy way to connect Episode 9 to a centuries older medieval era of Star Wars is already sitting right in front of J.J. Abrams, Benioff, and Wise. Yes guys, we are talking about Rey's Jedi books. Without too much effort, Episode 9 could essentially drop a preview for the Game of Thrones style Old Republic Star Wars movies in a scene where Rey reads from one of these old books. Imagine, Rey is flipping through the books, learning about ancient battles waged by Jedi who lived centuries before she was born. Boom! We cut to actual scenes from those times. Basically, Episode 9 has a hidden slick trailer for the Benioff and Wise Old Republic without messing up the story at all. According to rumors, the Benioff and Wise Old Republic movies start filming this fall, by the way. Star Wars Episode 9 is out everywhere on December 20th. Of course, guys, some very big news for Star Wars, but of course, we are all very excited. We can't wait. December 20th, 2019, guys. Be there. Opening night, you know I will be. Have a good one, guys. It's been the Dork Side.